Welcome to a special episode of the Ash Dispatch. Now, the reason this episode is special is because I'm going to be relating an incident that occurred earlier this evening, and I want your feedback. Leave a comment or whatever it is. I want your feedback on whether or not I am the asshole in the situation. So it's a Saturday, and earlier this evening at around 6 p.m., I was getting the kids ready for uh, bath time, and my wife comes to me and she says, uh, there's somebody at the doorbell. Like we have one of those video doorbells. Uh, he rang the bell and we haven't answered and, and he's knocked as well. And he has some kind of clipboard or something like that. So I go on the, on the app for the, for the video doorbell. And I, I say, hello. I try to talk to the guy and he's just ignoring me. And so I go to the door and I open it. And I, it should be noted at this point that I have a sign on the door. It's pretty visible even in the dark with a big red hand that says no solicitors. And the reason for that is I just don't see myself ever buying anything, a service, product, anything like that from a door-to-door salesman. Maybe that inherently makes me an asshole. I don't know. But it's just given the slim to no chance that I will buy something, I think it's just better to have the sign there, avoid any confusion, which obviously didn't work with this gentleman. So I open the door and I asked the guy if he could hear me through the doorbell. And he says, oh, you know, it's so with all the cars and noise, like I couldn't, couldn't hear you. Now, there's two problems with that. Number one is, even if you didn't hear clearly, you would at least respond or say something back, not just completely ignore the person. But also, we live in somewhat of a suburban neighborhood. It's pretty quiet. Uh, and even with like garbage trucks outside, uh, people can hear me just fine through that video doorbell all the time. So I don't know why he couldn't hear me or why he didn't think he should answer or try to talk to me at all. But he says he didn't hear me. So I say, okay, what is it that you're here for? And he starts to tell me, oh, I'm sure you've heard of us. We're from from Vivint or something like that. And I don't know what that is, but I cut him off and I say, uh, yeah, yeah, you see the sign here that says no solicitors? <laughs> And he goes, instead of saying like, oh yeah, sorry, no problem, and have a nice night and walking away, he goes, oh yeah, you know, I came up and it was like, it was so dark and I didn't want to make it awkward. To make it awkward? You mean like walk up, see the sign that says basically don't knock and turn around and respect the sign and walk away? Would that have been more awkward than this conversation that we're now having about it? I don't know. So... Being that he was obviously full of shit, I said to him, uh, yeah, you're full of shit. Can you please leave? And he goes, oh, yeah, but, you know, I just want to. And he starts to try to sell me still. And I said, no, no, no. I asked you to leave. Please leave. He goes, okay, asshole. And he starts to walk away. And I don't need to say anything further. I let him walk away. And I'm just standing there waiting for him to leave. And as he's getting closer to the edge of the property, he turns back and asks me, the fuck are you looking at? Or what do you want? Or something like that. He said, I'm waiting for you to leave. He says, okay, asshole, and he leaves. Now, it's bizarre to me that he rang the bell in the first place. But maybe, like, had he not seen the sign, it wouldn't be that weird. Like, he may have missed it, but he obviously did see the sign. He he acknowledged that he saw the sign and rang the bell anyways. And then when I came out and said I wasn't interested, he still tried to sell me instead of, instead of just saying apologizing and leaving, or not apologizing and leaving, whatever. And then... He calls me an asshole, and even without any kind of further confrontation, he's leaving, he turns around and asks me what I'm looking at, like, what the fuck do I want on my own property? Just the whole thing seems kind of bizarre to me. And I just want to know, am am I the asshole? He called me an asshole. Am I the asshole in this situation? Should I have dealt with it differently? Or whether I should have dealt with it differently or not. Am I an asshole for asking this gentleman to leave and waiting and watching and making sure that he leaves the property under these bizarre circumstances? And aside from the question of whether or not I'm an asshole, is this guy just an idiot? Like, I don't know what they taught him in the sales thing at Vivint or whatever it is. I still don't know what that is. But aside from whatever, like... I don't know what they taught him. I don't know what's going through his mind to ignore a no soliciting sign. When the person asks you to leave, not to leave, 
and then call them an asshole instead of just leaving it. I mean, he ended up just leaving and not making a sale anyways. And did he think he was going to make a sale? Did he think under those circumstances, the person would be interested in hearing him out? I don't know. So please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Am I the asshole? Is this guy an idiot? Is he the asshole? I don't know. I, I'm curious to hear your, your opinion on this, your take. So please let me know.